probably since COVID, people are more tuned in to where their food comes from. Aaron just provides a you know a myriad of opportunities. It's really so important that we, we do tell Aaron's food story. It's a great place to come and to be a producer or a grower and do something different. And I'm Andy Walker, I trade on uh, R&D products. So my name's Hannah, and we're here representing Aaron Davies. I'm Alana, uh, I run Crofters Larder. I'm Robin Gray from Robin's Herbs. My name's Callum Chaplin. We do make probably the best cheese in the world. I'm Stevie James Barshot, and I brew beer. I'm Sophia, I'm one half of um, the Aaron Coffee Company. My name's Guy, this is Emma, and we run the French Fox. Hi, I'm Alex, I'm the other half of the coffee company. So I'm Amy, I'm the only member of Monge de Gasso. My name's Chris, and we are here at uh, Aaron Brewery. My name is Jude, and I'm from Aaron Eco Savvy. My name's Cameron Bruce, and I'm the coordinator for Aaron's Food Journey. So my role is really just to facilitate all the food and drink businesses on, on Aaron to support them in any way we can, like today, helping set up the farmer's market. I'm Elsa Curry, this is Bellevue Farms. So today we've had our first farmer's market. So the farmer's market really involved as many of the producers on Aaron as we could get. When I say busy, I kind of underestimated just how busy it could be. People queuing patiently out the door waiting to get in and obviously we had to be mindful of all the Covid restrictions. But yeah, really pleased with how well it's gone. Oh, it's been really good, yeah, it's been super busy, much busier than we expected. It's been good to see people back at events because it's been a long time coming, hasn't it? It's been great today, really good, and we need it. So this is the first opportunity we've had to actually see people and, and interact with them. And I've missed that. Especially with today being the first farmer's market, our first time out at a market, but also the first time I've seen the sheer volume of people since March last year. Everybody's really interested in being here to see the local produce, from honey to beer to fresh vegetables and meat and ice cream and milkshakes. It's, it's been absolutely phenomenal. And it's fantastic to see the sheer number of people that are emerging with really, really vibrant, really high quality products. But it's a challenge and a journey to become like a food destination. And I think sustainability is at the forefront for every single one of us. And that's the balance between its community, its environment and its, its economy. I think we're doing things right. I mean, we're using everything local. And I, I get as much as I can on the island. The farm to fork thing I've been doing for about 35 years now. Where we can actually help the environment. We are trying. So, I mean, I think as a beekeeper, that's what you're tuned into anyway, you know. We run carbon cutting projects um, that are led by the community and supported by volunteers and really tackle sustainability issues in energy, food, waste, climate literacy. We sell branded Adam milk bottles, which are two pounds a bottle. They're glass bottles which are reusable. The plastic shrink wrap that goes around the, the cases, that's fully recyclable. When I finish with all my grains, it just goes down to the road to Kildonan where a certain farmer gets his cows to eat it and they love it apparently. We are such a small island mm. and it is a community base and that's the beauty of it. There's a real sense of community among the businesses. Everyone kind of looks out for each other, helps each other out, which is a fab place to be. You can see the love and the care and you know we have great chats with them about the the, the products because we're all passionate about that. No. It's all about helping each other be prosperous and actually enriching the island. And about having not only a profit forward business model but something that really contributes back to the island. There's just that Aaron way I think that everybody you know really wants to collaborate and work together and, and to make the most of Aaron's food and drink. I think today has been a, a great success. Every stand's been busy, everyone's had people at it. Numbers of visitors way beyond what we were expecting. It can only grow and grow because yeah. it's a fantastic platform. We can expand on today so that people, whenever they come, are getting something new and something different. It's been amazing. It's been a very big eye-opener this morning. This is everything that we've needed and it's, it's been great. Watch this space. <laughs>